Hi, I'm Rashmi Pindari and today I've got two of my students from the ENC, Electronics and Communication Branch, who have made it to iWave Systems. Now, iWave Systems is a product company which is actually looking at embedded as well as into software development. And today I've got both the boys in ENC. So I have Kostub and Prathvik. Yeah, so tell me first, how was it? I mean, how was the whole process? Yes, ma'am. Like uh, IOS system, we have uh, first we had pre placement talk on that day, and then uh, in pre after pre placement talk we had aptitude question, aptitude and technical later on it was. Both were of forty uh, together it was forty five minutes. Aptitude we had twenty questions and uh, technical we had ten questions. In uh, aptitude, uh, after twenty all were qu qu quants like all were quantitative questions. So and two. Do you remember anything? What was asked? Yes, ma'am. Like uh, there were one was one question was like in a uh, in a train. There are three compartments huh. like AC, sleeper, and general. The price of the price of those is five in of the ratio five is to three is to one. Okay. And the person pa passengers are at one is to three is to seven. Okay. So now profit made by the railway department is fifty two thousand. Huh. What is the profit made by made from AC AC passenger from All AC right. passenger okay. AC passengers. And, uh, so yeah. this is an ordinary quant question which oh, any student will understand. Yes. Okay, all right. And and there were like uh, profit loss questions and ah. uh, and two three were logical questions. So no verbal questions. No verbal. So that was easy for you then. Yeah, quant, all quants were almost yes. like good. Because. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, technical question were there were ten technical question. Technical there were no no problem solving question. All were direct question of second year engineering. All second right. year, what we studied in second year. So what can you give me a few examples second year what questions were there? Uh, they were based on logics like CMOS logics uh -huh. then uh, 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 transmission delays uh -huh. and then about uh, operational amplifiers uh -huh. and some basic questions that we study in second year. So b all second year questions only? Yeah. Everything was second year? Yeah almost everything. Everything. Was, yeah. So people who didn't know second year basics uh, would not have cleared it? No ma'am. No. Yeah. All right. So but it was easy I mean this was something which you studied in your class or did you have to refer some no, it was from class and class. Class, yeah. what you studied, all right. And uh, was the time enough for you? What? Yeah, time. Forty-five was, was enough. Yeah. And they had a separate paper for the EC students and a separate uh, paper for the software, yes, right? Yeah. 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 If so we had attended software, we shouldn't attend hardware. hardware. If we attended both, we were dis disqualified. All right. And uh, then after that, I think there was the interview, yes, interview straight away. So how was the interview? How was it for you, Kostum? It was easy, ma'am, because ah. it was actually from very long. Uh -huh. With the, uh, that subject we study in fifth semester. Uh -huh. The interviewer asked uh, uh, almost all questions from the same subject itself. Th did you say it was your favorite subject or no, no. straight away? Okay. Straight away. Uh -huh. uh, then he asked about uh, what is synthesis, then wh how do you simulate uh -huh. and what are the process during simulation. Uh -huh. And he asked about what is noise margin. Uh -huh. Then he also as asked about cache memories and re related to very long. Okay. So everything was very log. Yeah. So if somebody is not good in very log, they will not clear. No ma'am. They will not mm. clear. And is it a very important subject in ENC or? Uh? Yes ma'am. It's uh, basically hardware description language. Uh -huh. uh, we use it to design hardware uh, circuits using that language. All right. So, so for you, how was it, uh, Pratik? Yeah, like when we entered here, uh, the uh, interviewer asked like. Tell me about very long. Uh -huh. Like I was the second person to enter, so I did, didn't have any idea. Like uh -huh. I had asked my seniors what to how to prepare. Uh -huh. They were like studying second year topics, All so right. I was studying second year topic. This was of third year. All right. Uh, but uh, very long was uh, like in th third year also. It was only main. It was the main subject. So lecturers were like be con concentrated upon this subject. All right. And we had also a better part of it in uh, sixth semester, digital design using Verilog. Huh. So we had little touch about it. So yeah, he was introduced, tell me about Verilog. So hmm. he said the, the the four levels of description. Hmm. Then uh, the, he was like, what can you design in Verilog? Hmm. So I was like, ALU sir. Hmm. And I said how to design an ALU, etc. Hmm. And how to write the test pins. Hmm. Then other what can you design? Hmm. I, was, I said uh, sign wave. Uh. So he was like, this is digital design, how do you design sign? So I said like, we'll design digitally, then uh. we cannot, using DAC we can do a, analog sign. sign. Uh -huh. So then, yes, no. then he was like, uh, can you write bond for three years and all he, he was Okay, that's the bond period uh, for then, the company, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was like, yes sir, I can. All so right. then I asked, do we really need to write a bond? Like senior said, no, not to write a bond. Uh -huh. So he's like, no, we don't take bond, but when we join, we expect you to work for three years. All right. But I don't think there's no written uh, agreement as such. They take you by the, by word of trust. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, they trust the yes, candidates. Yeah, and yeah. So if you say yes, then it is yes, even yes, though you don't sign yeah. on paper. All right. So this is very important uh, because many times people think that if only if I sign on paper, that, you know, the bond is there. But many a times, because this, is, this company actually deals with a lot of Japanese uh, clients. So they have the 
the Japanese culture or uh, the thing and so a lot of trust uh, factor goes in. So they're actually very choosy when they select candidates mm -hmm. also. They want people who will uh, work, for work for minimum of yeah. three years and if they continue it's very good yes, and then even uh, your attitude, a lot of aspects on attitude is uh, judged. Yes. For you anything else, uh, or projects or? Uh, no, you didn't ask about projects. Uh -huh. no, even but they got the only about that very low part. All right. Yeah. For you, any project? Uh, no project. No, no project. Like he was like, can you code in very low? Uh -huh. I said yes, I can. But he was like, you are very fuzzy. Like you can't. You are not related to the topic. So I was like, I was preparing for second year subject. This okay. was like. Uh, so had you known, uh, it would have been better. Yeah, it would have been better. Been better. But, yeah, like very long. I, I was just I can rush up things, but I I, I have no touch in the subject from one six months. Uh -huh. So I am little bit fuzzy. Then then he asked ALU question. So most most of the time no one might answer ALU. Uh -huh. So I, I was like I can do ALU. Uh -huh. so then he was like yeah you will write bond and he was like why are you not joining IT companies? IT will pay you more. Uh -huh. So I was like this is core company. So here I have more opportunities. Yes. Uh -huh. That's all. And uh, anything else? Uh, uh, he also asked about uh, microprocessors. Uh -huh. It's also a fourth semester topic. So uh -huh. if we go study about fourth semester also, uh -huh. can help in interview. Yeah, but you had prepared for this uh, microprocessor and all that. Or no, no, I was preparing for uh, core company. So uh -huh. I I knew about this. This would come. So it was easy for me. All right. Yeah. And the projects. Tell me a little bit about the projects that you have done. Uh, I have done using Raspberry Pi. Mm. Actually, it was an image processing project. Mm. We have implemented it in a bot. Mm. Uh, it was like we have to detect uh, some object which is missing mm. using image processing. Mm -hmm. uh, that was our project the second year. Oh. So you did a project only in the second year? No, third year, third year we done. Mm. Uh, but it was uh, using uh, let's say software, just a software, not a hardware. Mm -hmm. It was just uh, uh, it's a cancer detection using image processing. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. Uh, then uh, we had uh, implemented it using MATLAB. Uh -huh. So we we uh, showed that project, but uh, yeah, it was a project using that MATLAB. So you, uh, how many projects have you actually written in your resume? One, two, or uh, three, ma'am. Three. three, but uh, you don't write. You rated at the best, best one first, second, and like that, or how is it? No, I I rated on uh, I uh, put in the resume on the order of uh, how we did from first year, second, second year, and third year. But your third year project was the best of it, or was it anything else? Uh, second year. Yes, ma'am. Like I put my second year project at the top. Top. And internship project on the second, third year project on the thir third. Okay. Place I put. All right. Like I I like my second year project, so huh. I put it first. So you were more confident on your second, second year, year project. project. And anything in the HR interview? No, we didn't have You didn't have a chart. So if you're through, so that's the advantage of a, a core company because if you're through technically, uh, the technical round, then the HR is, you know, not even there much, you know, because uh, actually they'll grill you both the technical and this thing, you know, because, yes. and I think the interviews were pretty long, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. 15 to 20 minutes. All right. Actually, 15, 20 minutes is less. Uh -huh. But I think this, they were running short of time, you yeah. know, so maybe lucky for you uh, that, you know, the interviews were not very long or maybe you answered very well because if you answer very well also, uh, you know, the interviews, once they know that you're good, they don't even yeah. go further. And uh, how did you both prepare for this? I mean, anything special for APT and uh, technical? No, actually, I was preparing from the uh, beginning of the four, uh, final year itself. Uh -huh. I was preparing for core companies. Uh -huh. And I also planned to uh, write GATE exam. Uh -huh. So it helped me in this. So process. GATE helped you to prepare yeah. for uh, APT, uh, yes. for your uh, APT or your technical? Technical as well Technic as APT. All right. And what about you, Prasad? Uh, I had spoken to seniors, ma'am, uh -huh. who were working for. In a I wave year. already. They were like, you study second year topic, that's enough. That's like enough. Can, uh, so I was preparing for all, all the right. year. So topic. now the message is second year, anyway, you should do, and then also your third year? Third year. Third year. Third year. is important. But then who knows, next year they may ask something uh, yeah, else. I, yeah. I, I said him, ma'am, <laughs> yeah. interview. Like, I was preparing. So he was like, they, they said you what I asked for them. Uh -huh. But this year it is different. Different. Now. And next year again it could be different. But this, I think, you get an overview as to what uh, questions you can expect. And, uh, you know, the projects are again very important and how you present yourself and a lot of other factors and also a little bit of changes there company to company. So this being a, a core technical company and that too with a sort of a very, uh, you know, Japanese, Japanese oriented culture, you know, the interview was very different from the regular company. Yes, yeah. And you also had attended a lot of other drives, right? Yes. So this would have helped you. Yes. But IT was difficult for you, right? The software, the yes, master recruiters, yes. which is actually easy for others. This is the toughest company, one of the toughest. Yes. And you actually cleared this and uh, not the master recruiters. No. Master I, recruiter, what, it was difficult? No, it was like English part was very... Uh, for in Forces, it was yeah. difficult English, yeah. even for TCS? Yeah. And Cognizant? Cognizant, I've cleared. You've cleared, yeah. all right. What about you? Like ITC I had clear, uh -huh. Cognizant, like it was home web normal, uh -huh. so I didn't have time. Uh, okay. And uh, other thing, yeah, verbal was... Uh, verbal was tough. Even IBM, verbal okay. was... It was verbal. What about IBM for you? 
IBM was easy man but uh, I don't know why they do this <laughs> <laughs> verbal, verbal okay I think this is a message I think we'll wrap up with this so you uh, you know uh, verbal is actually very tough for a master recruiter so if you're aiming for a master recruiter you should really uh, focus on the verbal and if you are aiming for a core company I think technically you should really really be sound you know so I hope this really helps and thank you both of you very much thank yeah you. and I hope you do well okay nice. yeah and uh, it's signing off so bye for now <laughs>